Hello guys and welcome to another TDS video. Today we're going to be doing um, a challenge where I'm going to be using only my Halloween 2019 skins. So this is going to be the first part of a series where I use only the skins I have for one event. So for right now, we only have three towers, the Militant, the Rocketeer, and the pyromancer and that may not do but it might work so we need a good map winter bridges should be fine oh i guess toy bird will work then <sighs> milton's gonna have to be my main dps for right now because pyro is not a bit good source of dps and Rocketeer is just kind of bad. But Pyro will have to do, be my early game because it shreds early game. Like, up until the boss, this thing absolutely destroys the early game. So, voting for Molten Mode because <laughs> no way are we doing Fallen with this loadout. Don't even have farm or full loadout, so there's no way we're doing fallen. So, what mode is so we're gonna have, just have to skip the first wave. So, we're just gonna take. Uh, 20 damage, I think, from these. Yeah, 20 damage, because they each have 4 HP and there's 5. After skipping the first wave, because this is solo, I'll have enough money to place down a pyro. And it'll be... It'll be pretty good from there. I'll just have to get a militant, because they don't have farm. I'll just have to save up. Get a militant, and try and get a high enough level for the boss. So, look at that. It just destroyed them. Obliterated them. No, so there's some more. It's just not a challenge. And then now we can get our militants. Finally took the damage. And the militant does a bit of damage, but not all that much. Now we get hidden detection. That's also a good pro of militants now. It gets hidden detection at level 1 for 250, which is like so good. And granted, Pyro does have hidden detection from level 0 if it's golden, so I don't really need the hidden detection, but it's a nice bonus. And so slow's coming in, they only have 8 HP, so they shouldn't be that much harder. I'm gonna get another militant, just to make sure we can deal with the boss. So, so the, yeah, this is definitely enough to deal with the boss. I might get a Rocketeer just to show off the skin because, also because Rocketeer just doesn't get enough love. It's not a very good shower, but still, you know, it's nice to show it every once in a while. Yes, the boss is getting destroyed. And we'll get a Rocketeer. Alright, so... Get some extra range. Buy some up for some explosive risks. I mean, I guess the, the upside is this does some splash damage, but 
It doesn't do very much. The problem with the Rocketeer is it just isn't good at anything. It has a slow fire rate, but its damage is bad. It doesn't have enough to start off with, which you, if it could, if it was a bit weaker, but you could start off with it, it'd be pretty good because it's got splash damage. Should be kind of slow, but it'd still be pretty decent. But overall, I think this should be a late game tower. Maybe it should be a bit stronger. I think they need a lower fire rate and make it stronger. Then that'd be pretty good. But yeah, for right now, that level's the most cost efficient one. We're gonna get another militants. Ooh, actually we should do that. Yeah, so the hiddens are not an issue. Oh, I didn't even see the first wave of hiddens. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, so currently we're doing super good. This is also just proof. Like, the Golden Pyro, obviously, it's kind of doing a lot, but... These aren't very cost... Like, Milton is, is only like 2,000? 2, 2,500, maybe? And I don't even have farm, and this is doing super well. This just goes to show how worth, well worth it the militant buff was. Because before, you, you would be better off using medic for DPS. But now, this does decent, great, really good DPS. Alright, so Necromancer's coming in. Shouldn't be an issue. Even though it's got like 400 HP, it's really slow. It's minions. Oh, it's got 250. It's got 400 in Fallen mode. Whatever. 250 isn't that much. It just gets destroyed. Because, honestly, you'd have to get out of the Rocketeer's range. Which is like, you'd have to get all the way over here. Uh, Sure, it'd be slow, but it'd definitely kill it. I guess that's an upside to Rocketeer. It does have a lot of range, so it could catch things getting away. But isn't very good at dealing with them. Now upgrade that a bit. Yeah, so should be able to just defeat this. I am kind of worried about the slow boss coming in. But we should be fine. Because it's moving super slow. And, yeah, we've done so much damage to it. We could probably actually just skip and be fine, but I'm not going to risk it. Because we don't want to give this other slow boss any ground. But I think now's a good time to really save some time, but don't give it any ground. Could have done that a bit earlier, but whatever. And so, I'm going to do some more burn damage now. I know there's a necromancer behind it, but the necromancer shouldn't be that big of an issue. It summons, like, speedies, which are, like, not a problem. And then, um, it did get a bit farther, but it's fine. No hidden boss is coming through, but we should be fine on that. See, that's the problem with using Pyro for hidden detection. It won't target the uh, boss because there are Moltens before it. Also, by the way, the max level mil pumpkin militant looks so cool. It's the only one of these I have that turns black like that. And it's so cool. Anyways. I think 
I'm gonna get max level pyro and then max level rocketeer, then spam a bunch of max level militants. Uh, shocks, not an issue. They only have 100 HP and don't even move that fast. Alright. Max level. I'm gonna give you a good view of the max level pyro real quick. Yep. So now let's get the Rocketeer. Just need about 3,000 more. So it should just be like after this wave. Right. So this gives you a good look of this. Yeah, so got a max level of each one now, so we're just gonna spam militants so that we can just take them all down because honestly, they don't stand a chance now. Once I start getting all this max level militants, Here, I might actually just... Just that we can deal with Speedy Boss. Just get these down. Yeah, Speedy Boss shouldn't be that big of an issue. Okay, maybe it's bigger of an issue than I thought. Oh, never mind. Let's just get these guys hidden detection, just in case we get a huge wave of speed of hidden bosses. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Uh huh. Sorry, I was just having my dad call me real quick. Uh, so I'm just, just gonna get these all to level two. These slow bosses are making it worryingly far, but I think we should be fine. Alright, now we have some mystery bosses, but... Yeah, it should be fine. And speedy boss and some mystery bosses. As long as we don't get bad RNG, we should be fine. That's... Yeah, whatever. Not actually, no. Actually, maybe I might keep... No. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep that. Just because it's some extra damage. Let's get some more defenses up front. I should keep accidentally clicking on Rocketeer instead of Militants. Should probably start upgrading because that's bad RNG coming in. Uh oh. This is what happens when you don't have Commander. Or like farm. And then you get bad RNG. Yep, that's that's a rip. Yep, nope. Well, uh...
That's the end of today's video. Turns out that spamming militants doesn't really work if you get bad RNG. But I think it could work if you don't get bad RNG or just had a better map. But the That's... I don't think it's supposed to happen. Yeah, whatever, but... Just be good, burb. Out.